Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: A certain sum amounts to rupees fifty-two, five thousand two hundred ninety-two in two years, and five thousand five hundred fifty-six point six zero in three years at compound interest. Find a rate and the sum. So this is the question. I solve this. So first, write all the information that have been given. So in this question, there will be two equation. So first equation, right? So for that we write principal is equals to P. No principal is given. Rate of interest also not given. So write rate of interest is R. Time is equals to given two years. And amount is also given that is rupees fifty two five thousand two hundred ninety two. So therefore our equation is like this: the principal into one plus rate by hundred to the power n. So n is the value of time that is two. So write to the power two is equals to the amount. The amount is our five thousand three hundred ninety-two. So this is our equation number one. So now the equation number two is right. So second equation: principal is equal to p. Rate of interest is also unknown r. Time is given three years, and the amount is equal to given rupees five thousand five hundred fifty-six point six zero. So we just have to write down the equation that is principal into one plus rate by hundred square that is sorry the n that is three is equal to the amount that is five thousand five hundred fifty six point six zero. So now we write that dividing equation one by Equation two. Let's divide the equations. So now we write the equation. First equation. Let me write principal into one plus rate by hundred square by principal into one plus rate by hundred cube will be equal to the amount that is five two nine two by Five 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 six point six zero. So first, I can cut the principal. So now, these two numbers you also can cut. So this will full fully cut and only one time given. So I cut the cube. So this side only remains. So upward, no nothing is remains. So one by one plus x add by hundred. At this side will become five two nine two. So, point remove the decimal point. So, up to two decimal places. So, up we write two zeros, and down it will become five 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 six six zero. So, cut the zeros. So now, to remove this uh, one, so we have to reciprocal both the numbers. So this side, if we reciprocal one will come round. So nothing we need to write. So it become one plus. R by hundred is equal to so this side also. You have to do the reciprocal. That means this number will go up and this will come down. We come five 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 six six by five two nine two zero. So now we will take this one to this side. So as it is in addition here, it will go for subtraction here. So it becomes R by hundred is equal to five 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 six six by five two nine two zero minus one. So the minus case here only. We take this number as the LCM. So it becomes five two nine two zero. So five 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 six six minus this original number as it is one. So five two nine two zero. So now I write that R by hundred is equals to. So this number, if we do it, it will become two six four six by five two nine two zero. So now finally R will be equal to two six four six by five two nine two zero. So hundred it goes for multiplication here. Hundred so cut the zeros. So first we cut these two numbers by two. It will become one three two three, and this will become two six four six. 
so now I cut by 3 it will become 441 and it will become 882 so now directly these two numbers can be cut it will become 2 so now 2 1 and here 5 so therefore 5 percent depends so therefore 5 percent is the rate of interest so now if you find out the principal so for that we write the principal is equal to p rate of interest is we got that is 5 percent time we take the um, first formula that is 2 years and for that 2 years the amount is rupees 5 to 9 to so therefore formula will become like this that principal into 1 plus rate by 100 to the power n is equal to the amount so we put the value principal our p into 1 plus rate is our 5 by 100 to the power 2 is equal to 5 to 9 to so it become p into so 105 by 100 one sorry 1 plus 5 by 100 will become 105 by 100 so this will be written two times into 105 by 100 is equals to 5 to 9 to so you cut these two no numbers by 5 21 20 here also 21 20 so it becomes p is equals to now right 5 to 9 to so now this number and this number they are in the denominator so they will go up so it will 20 into 20 by so now these two numbers they are in numerator so they will come down 21 into 21 so now I cut 21 and 5 to 9 to it will become 252 and again we cut it it will become 12 so remains 12 into 20 into 20 so 12 into 20 to 20 it becomes 0, 0, 4. Now 12 4 is 48 0, 0. So our principal is our 4800. So the rate of interest for this question is 5% per annum and our principal is 4800. So these are our final answer for this question. So guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.